So now that we know how to calculate the magnitude and direction of a vector, now we are going to start by learning how to add and subtract vectors, okay? So our next topic is addition and subtraction of vectors. Addition and subtraction of vectors, okay? So now, if I have a vector A, if A is equal to x1, y1, okay? And B is equal to x2, y2. Then it follows that um, A plus B, okay, is equal to, when we add A plus B, it means the top will add the top. So we have x1 plus x2, and then y1 plus y2. So the top will add the top, and then the down will add the down. So the same applies to subtraction. If I say if, if A is x1, y1, and B is equal to x2, y2, and I ask you to find or evaluate A minus B, it becomes x1 minus x2, and then y1 minus y2. So let's take for example, if P, if P is equal to four neg one, and Q is equal to seven negative three, okay? Evaluate I, P plus Q. I, I, then P minus Q. So let's solve this together. So if P is equal to 4 negative 1 in our solution, we are having P to be equal to 4 negative 1. So P plus Q. We have P plus Q to be 4 neg 1 plus Q is 7 neg 3. So this is going to give us 4 plus 7, which is 11, and minus 1 plus minus 3, which is minus 4. So the same thing, that's our i, then we move to i i, okay? i i says we should find p minus q. So our p minus q is just equal to, we shall have four neg one, then this time minus seven neg three. So this will give us four minus seven, which is minus three, and then minus one minus minus three, which will give us minus one plus three, which will give us two. So this is the vector P minus Q, and this is the vector P plus Q. Now, our next topic is multiplying a vector by a scalar K. Multiplying a vector by a scalar K, okay? Where K is a constant, okay? If A is equal to X, Y, then if k is a um, if a is equal to x y and k is a scalar and k is going to multiply a then k a is equal to k x k y okay so assuming in this question if p is equal to 4 negative 1 and q equals to 7 negative 3 and then i i i okay i ask you to evaluate 2p plus 3q, okay? So this means that 2 is a scalar which is going to multiply p, and then 3 is also a scalar which is going to multiply q. So we shall have um, 2p, our I, I, I will give us 2 into, we have 2p plus 3q to be equal to, we have 2, our p is 4 negative 1, so we have 4 neg 1 plus 3 into, our q is also 7 neg 3, so we have 7, negative 3. Now, we are going to use the 2 to multiply as a scalar. So 2 times 4, we have 8. And 2 times negative 1, we have negative 2. Plus 3 times 7, we have 21. And 3 times negative 3, we have negative 9. Then we complete it by adding. So we have 8 plus 21, which will give us 29. And negative 2 plus minus 9, which will give us minus 11. So 2p plus 3q will give us 29 minus 11. So multiplying a vector by a scalar means you are multiplying the vector by what? A constant, okay? Now let's move to our next topic. Our next topic will be equal vectors. Equal vectors. <laughs> our next topic is 
equal vectors, okay? So two vectors, A and B, are said to be equal when they have the same magnitude and the same direction, okay? So if I have a vector A, if A is equal to x1, y1, and B is equal to x2, y2, okay? And we are saying A is equal to B. That was the condition given. And if this is the condition given, it means that x1 is equal to x2 and y1 is equal to y2, okay? So these two vectors are said to be equal when they have the same magnitude and then the same direction, okay? So I can give you a question, a simple question. Given that m is equal to 3x plus 1, and then minus 2y plus 3, and n is equal to minus 8, 5. Find x, y if m is equal to n. So this means that we are going to find the values of x and y if m is equal to n. This is the condition given, that these two vectors, m is equal to n. So we start by writing m is equal to n. If m is equal to n, it means 3x plus 1, and then minus 2y plus 3, is equal to minus 8, 5. So like I was saying, if these two vectors are equal, it means the top is equal to the top, and down is equal to the one down. And down is equal to the down, okay? So top is equal to top. So we have 3x plus 1 is equal to negative 8. So 3x is equal to negative 8 minus 1. We are solving for x. 3x is equal to minus 9 our x is equal to minus 3. So the same way, we are also going to say minus 2y plus 3 is equal to 5. Minus 2y is equal to 5 minus 3. And then minus 2y is equal to 2. Our y is equal to negative 1. So therefore, our x is negative 3, and then our y is negative 1. So these are the values of what? x and y, respectively. Now let's move on to our next topic. We are going to talk about parallel vectors. Parallel vectors and then perpendicular vectors, okay? So parallel vectors. Parallel vectors. Now, when we talk about parallel vectors, two vectors are said to be parallel when one is a scalar multiple of the other. So assuming I have a vector A, to be equal to 1, 5. And then I have a vector B to be equal to 7, 35. Okay? Now, A is parallel to B and vice versa. Because if I should multiply A by 7, a scalar of 7, you see 7 times 1 will give me 7, 7 times 5, I'll get 35. The same way if I should multiply B by 1 over 7, I'll get A back. So these two vectors, are scalar multiples of each other, so they are said to be what? Parallel vectors, okay? So two vectors are said to be parallel when one is a scalar multiple of the other. If there's a constant you can multiply A with to get B, then they are scalar multiples of each other. So the two vectors are said to be what? Parallel vectors. Now we move to perpendicular vectors. Perpendicular vectors. Two vectors are said to be perpendicular, okay? Perpendicular vectors, perpendicular vectors, okay? Two vectors are said to be perpendicular when their dot product is equal to zero, okay? So if I have a vector A to be equal to x1, y1, and a vector B to be equal to x2, y2, then if A, is perpendicular to B, we are saying that their dot product, okay, is equal to zero. I have a vector A, x1, y1, and a vector B, x2, y2. We are saying A is perpendicular to B when their dot product, which is A dot B, the dot product is equal to zero. So if the dot product is x1, x2, plus y1, y2, okay? So if you should get their dot product and you get zero, it means the two vectors A and B are perpendicular vectors, okay? So we have different types of vectors. We can have parallel vectors, perpendicular vectors, and so on and so forth, okay? 
we have also what we call a unit vector, okay? A unit vector has a magnitude of one, okay? That's why it is unit. So a unit vector has magnitude of one. 